Okay, I know. I had said that the next episode was going to be City of Tando, and yet here we are in Normansburg. If you are unaware, here in South Africa, we have been having a major electricity crisis. So for the past month or so, I've not been able to do any real recording. So instead of skipping another week, I figured I would use this opportunity to announce the winner of a secret competition that I ran on my Discord server about a month ago. At the end of episode 40, I ran a competition on the Discord server asking people to submit builds for a specific location within Nomersburg. We then ran a poll for the members of the Discord server to select who should win. We have a winner and I had promised to release or announce the winner in episode 41 of Nomersburg. Now I could either delay the announcement for I don't know how long and going to City of Tando or do the announcement now whilst the hype is still up at least for those that entered and then get that out of the way and then we can get into City of Tando and spend as much time as we need there. So today we will be having a look at the winning build. We will look at where in the town the build was meant to take place and then we will go through the third place, the second place, and then finally reveal the winning build. And then we'll take a closer look at it in a little more detail in a live gameplay to truly appreciate everything that was done in that build. Taking a look at the town that we are currently working on, I wanted it to be the host of the winning entry. So I didn't want the uh, winning entry to be in the middle of nowhere, but for it to have a permanent spot in this town. Highlighted orange on screen right now is the area that was allocated for the competition build. Taking a closer look at it, you can see that it's got two avenues that run very close to it. Both avenues have a tram track running through it. And to the top right, you've got a whole bunch of commercial space and to the top left, there's apartments there as well as apartments that are under construction. So the aim was to have a build that not only occupy the space, but also blended quite nicely with the surroundings. So with that said, let's jump into viewing all of the entries that we received. We will start from the third place, the second place, and then reveal finally the winning build. Coming in at third place is the apartment complex by Talonen. This appears to be going for a contrasting setup to the aging surrounding spaces. It features a lot of open areas, beautiful colored trees and amenities such as pools and tennis courts. Surrounded all around by trees, this area gives off a very close knit community vibe that appears to be for the higher class of this town. Thanks Talonen for your awesome build submission. Coming in second is a highly developed area featuring medium rise buildings in the form of apartments and a track and field. This submission is from Hisupido and I hope I pronounced that right. The area features a very well developed space mixing some awesome apartment buildings from the workshop with some of the vanilla ones. It blends in quite nicely with the surrounding area to the top left where there are apartments already under construction and it captures that gentrification process that is clearly in full swing here. The area features tons of parking which I must say falls right in with the number of parking lots that I tend to add in my builds. Thanks Hisupido for your awesome work and congrats on the second spot. Finally, with the winner selected, the build was imported into this location using Move It, the roads were connected up and the place came alive. Please join me in saying a big congratulations to JN for their sports ground submission. This build features a stadium surrounded by smaller training grounds and serves to break up the space rather nicely from the buildings that would otherwise have taken shape all around. 
Thanks, JN, for your beautiful build, and congratulations on being the winning submission. These sports grounds have definitely earned their spot in the Nomersburg region. With that, let's jump into live play and take a closer look. All right, so we are into live play to take a closer look at this winning build. And I thought it was worth taking the time to actually show the little details all over the place that have made this build what it is. Now, front and center is the stadium, which is, of course, the main highlight of this build. And around it is a little bit of parking. It's not excessively done. It's very clear that the push for this is around the public transport that has been put through this place. So we've got this tram track that goes right through the middle of the main stadium and what I guess are the practice grounds. And these buses here indicates that there is a bus route connection. So when the public transport actually gets set up, it should be very easy to put a bus stop here, bus stop there, and then link that up to the rest of the town. And of course, the tram track coming right through here is also quite perfect because now you can have, should I call them exclusive lines that can connect the stadium to maybe a transport hub or it can connect the stadium up to the train station that is up there in the corner and i really like that i think it's a super awesome touch just here in the corner there's a uh, police station that's a police station that's sitting right there and i like the fact that jn put that there because there is no police station in the immediate area here so this is quite a nice touch you've got all of these helicopters and cars and so on servicing this entire area and then just to the bottom here we've got all of the practice grounds sitting around here over here this look appears to be some kind of an industrial type thing where you've got a couple of trucks sitting there and you've got containers that are just right up against this giant billboard that's sitting there i guess it's meant to sit perhaps it's used as a storage facility for the construction that's actually happening around here so it's a nice touch i think it it complements the surrounding area quite nicely so i'll just pan around a little bit we'll go and take a closer look at some of these areas so this is that storage area that i was talking about at least that's the story that i'm going with this area that it complements all of this area quite nicely all this construction happening here we've got all of these places here that things are getting stored and then of course the main stadium what i like is how close the stadium is to the road i think that is actually a super awesome touch it just shows that this whole town is quite closely packed together it is not a big city that you have lots and lots of room to work with it is one of those places that just developed and so the stadium just sits right up against the road over there and then to this side we've got the parking here at the back we've got a spot here for buses to stop and well this is probably some kind of a bus long-term parking or long-term i don't know stop areas or perhaps this is where the team buses actually comes in and drops people off either way i think it works quite nicely this place can be hooked up to the public transport to complement this entire area very very nicely and then of course we've got a police station i love the touch of the helicopters here it's it's very well done it shows that this area at least is connected to a greater regional police precinct maybe and whatever cannot be done here can very quickly be sent out to the rest of the region and then down here of course we've got the practice grounds which is quite cool so this area looks a lot cleaner so perhaps it's a lot more maintained and whichever teams come here for any gameplay they can come start off here have a couple of practice games or practice whatever they need to practice before they actually go in and have the main game and we could probably even use these for like local matches at least in terms of how i would see this and yeah i think it's it's all quite nice it fits in very well i think the blend of this build into its immediate surroundings is very very well done with the 
placement of the stadiums here it also makes it very interesting to see what we can put in here in this area that will now complement this build that sits here so yeah that is it that is jn's winning build i think it is awesome jn thank you so much for your build submission it has earned its spot as the winning build in this sport in Nomersburg and it will so remain for as long as the Nomersburg region exists. And that's it everybody. I want to say a big thanks to everyone who entered the competition. Congratulations once again to the winners. Big thanks to everybody on the Discord server who participated in voting. Thank you all so much for your time. I hope to run competitions again in the future and with the lessons learned from this one hopefully everything will go smoother and we will actually open it up to the general public i hope you enjoyed it thank you all so much for watching and i hope to catch you all in the next one cheers everybody